So if, like me, you've been cursed with stumpy wee little troll fingers, chances are you're probably getting quite hacked off with every smartphone these days being the size of a bloody laptop. Well, stress no longer because Bounden to the rescue is the fresh new Unihertz Jelly 2. Quite an amusing name, but it's also one of the most compact smartphones you'll be able to bag yourself in 2021 by a country friggin' mile because it's just three inches in size. You can bag yourself one right now from the official Unihertz website for just $199, and I absolutely had to get my hands, my tiny little baby hands, on one of these bad boys to really take it for a test drive. So let's check out the Unihertz Jelly 2, and for more the latest greatest tech, please do pog subscribe and ding that notification bell. Cheers. I can't remember the last time I had a phone box that was this tiny and there is the Jelly 2 in all of its splendor. Oh my god that is so friggin cute and actually comes pre-wrapped in a good old condom case as well. Way. Size doesn't matter kiddies it's all about keeping it wrapped up. So what else do you get inside of this very cute little box? You get a uh, two pin adapter. Got a USB charging cable, and yes, thankfully it is Type C, not micro USB. And you've actually got a bloody lanyard bundled in the uh, the box as well. This really is a blast from the past. And you've got a user guide, and you even get a screen protector bundled in there as well. So a solid offering all around. And in fact, there is a pre-installed screen protector too. So that one bundled in the box is just a bonus. And here we go. Here is the Unihertz Jelly 2. And oh my god, I'm already in love. So the Jelly 2 weighs a measly 110 grams. As you can see there, it's quite a chunky monkey, as you kind of expect from a 3-inch smartphone. There's quite a lot of stuff to pack in there, including a 2000 milliamp battery and all the usual innards. And the Jelly 2 is only available in this one colour finish, which is uh, technically green. It is a very, very dark green, though, so you could be forgiven for thinking it was black in uh, sort of dim light. It's actually quite a close match for my, uh, my T-shirt. Design highlights include a rear-mounted fingerprint so quite a dinky little effort there just beneath the single camera lens. The right edge of the phone is certainly very busy indeed. You've got a pair of buttons here, a power button and a custom button, plus the SIM tray, plus that USB-C charging port. And check this out, you've even got a goddamn headphone jack. Are you listening, Apple, Samsung, OnePlus, Oppo, all you morphos who can't find space for a headphone jack on your whopping huge flagship smartphones? This is a three-inch device and it's found space for a bloody headphone jack, so why can't you? Let's poke open that SIM tray and see what we got in there as well. And check this out, pretty impressive again for such a compact smartphone. You've got room for two SIMs at once there, otherwise you can have a single SIM and a micro SD memory card. Right, now I absolutely have to uh, power up the Jelly 2 and check this thing in action now. Is this actually the power button? I thought it would be with it being bright red and all. Uh, but maybe, no, it's the one above it, of course it is. Seriously, cutest goddamn phone of all time. Oh, check it out, even the bloody loading screen thing is super cute. Love it, oh, disco balls. Okay, the Unihertz Jelly 2 is all set up and ready for action. And as you can see, they're running full Android, but it is unfortunately the older Android 10, not the fresh new Android 11. And as you can see, that's on quite an old security patch too. And there's also, irritatingly, no apps trace. All of your apps have to be clustered there on your desktops. And that's, of course, you download a fresh launcher from the likes of the Google Play. But check this out, look. Reaching up for the top of the screen for that notifications bar, no trouble. And besides that lack of an apps tray, it is essentially just straightforward stock Android with all of the usual features that you would expect. You've got GPS on this thing, you've got NFC support with contactless payments and all of that good stuff. And you've even got a good bit of dual band Wi-Fi. And speaking of the connectivity, there's full LTE band support here in the UK. So certainly on my 4G connection, the apps were downloading pretty fast. No 5G support though, of course. Now, of course, having such a compact uh, finish is fantastic for you know your one-handed navigation all that good stuff but one of the challenges of that dinky screen is the fact that uh, typing on the Jelly 2 is uh, an interesting experience and basically each of these little virtual keys is smaller than a flea's ball sack okay let's see if I can just type tech spurt well I've already f***ed that up I keep typing yeah instead of tech t eh. Oh, there you go, managed it. And of course, if you need reading glasses or anything like that, then uh, yeah, the Jelly 2 screen is probably not going to be ideal for you. To be fair to it though, that tiny dinky 3-inch IPS screen is reasonably crisp. It's got a 480 by 854 pixel resolution, giving you 326 pixels per inch. Reasonably sort of bright on those top levels. You might be squinting a little bit if you're using the Jelly 2 outdoors. Those colours aren't exactly super punchy either, but not too terrible either. Wide viewing angles, which is... Uh, 
always good to see. Probably not quite the way you're expected to uh, take in those Marvel big screen extravaganzas, but uh, you know what, if you just want to enjoy a bit of YouTube or a Netflix show on the go, it'll work. And to be fair, you do get a rather respectable 128 gigs of storage packed into the Jelly 2 as well with that micro SD expandability. And yeah, as well as that uh, headphone jack, you've also got full Bluetooth 4.2 support and you do have a mono speaker built into this thing as well. So let's check that out. Fairly optimistic, potentially pushing for automatic promotion, touch wood. Uh, Alexander Reed says, this guy is bald, ban 5G. Yeah, as you would expect from a three inch smartphone, not the most powerful speaker out there. Uh, the clarity is absolutely fine, but yeah, definitely uh, just bung in some earphones if I were you. Now, powering the Unihertz Jelly 2 is a basic Helio P60 uh, chipset, but it is backed by six gigs of RAM. And so far, touch wood, loading up apps absolutely fine. They seem to be running smoothly enough, the occasional little judder here and there. But yeah, overall, not too shabby at all. I have actually done a bit of benchmarking for all you super benchmark enthusiasts, as you can see there. Quite respectable on the multi core front though so again should be absolutely fine for running lots of apps simultaneously but of course in order to truly test out the performance of any smartphone I always indulge in a good bit of uh, a mobile gaming so yeah I uh, I don't really know why I do this to myself but let's see how well Call of Duty Mobile runs on a three inch smartphone of course the first challenge is actually entering my login info all right here we go I can't actually see who I'm up against because the, <laughs> the names are so small oh god this is so dumb right okay wish me luck well, the screen's fairly responsive, gotta say. Is that way? I gotta admit, I'm just kind of blind firing here. Oh, he's on my side. Oh, Jesus. Oh, didn't quite hit the button. Yes! That is just embarrassing. You got killed by somebody playing on a friggin' three inch phone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes! Oh, bloody snipers! I f it. Oh, my God. Not only did we win, but I killed the final f***er as well. In this guy's nuts! That's how we won. And I'm sorry, but MVP as well. Come on, that is bragging rights for life. And the good news is, despite the fact I've been punishing this thing, the Jelly 2's battery life doesn't seem to be ticking down too fast. It's a 2000 milliamp cell stuffed inside, thankfully a lot bigger than the Palm Phone's battery, which was a measly 800 milliamp. That was one of the major drawbacks of that compact handset. But anyhow, let's finish up with a squint at the Jelly 2's camera tech. And slapped there on the back is a single 16 megapixel camera lens, not even a bloody macro lens inside, which I thought was pretty much obligatory for all smartphones these days. And certainly basic is one of the first words that springs to mind. Uh, you know, this will just, just about do the job probably if you like filling in profile pics on your, your Google account, something like that. Uh, and you've got a couple of mods. You actually do have a pro mod if you want to play around with the likes of the ISO level. And you've also got a video mod you can swap to. What resolution does that do? I'm assuming just like full HD, 720 by default, but you can bump it up to that mighty full HD resolution if you want to. And you do also have a basic 8 megapixel selfie camera as well, which I'm trying to switch to. There we go. Uh, housed uh, just here in this top bezel. And uh, this should, I'm sure, do an absolutely stunning job for your everyday selfies. Absolute dream boat. And that right there in a nutshell is the Unihertz Jelly 2. Very compact, very lovable indeed. So, so cute. Uh, I'm still recovering from the fact that I won that bloody Call of Duty game. Absolutely bonkers. Typing messages on it is of course an absolute freaking mare, but beyond that, proper lush. And certainly it's just like a secondary phone to slip into, you know, the dinkiest of little compact handbags or pockets job done. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.